Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got another thrift haul here for you, clothing to resell on eBay and Poshmark. And uh, this is just a couple of pairs of footwear, some, some wintry stuff, some boots and whatnot, and then some clothing that I picked up at Value Village. I do find that Value Village is typically overpriced for clothing, in my area at least. Uh, there's not always a lot of good opportunity to buy something there to flip, but on this particular day, I did have a discount, and I'm trying to remember exactly what the discount was, but it was more than just the typical 20% off coupon. So I found some things definitely worth flipping. It might've been like 30% off clothing, maybe even 40% actually. Uh, in any case, found uh, some decent stuff, but first this is some footwear that came from my usual chain that I shop at and uh, just gearing up for those winter boots and stuff. So I found these Kamek boots in a women's size, something or other. You know, looks like probably a nine or something like that. But yeah, I've sold things like this, you know, with this kind of faux fur top, you know, in that like 40 range. So I figure I'll probably get about that. Boots cost me $8 and I don't know, 30, 40 cents, something like that at this, uh, at this place. Another one that I got is... Okay, don't follow me. Uh, another one I got are these bean boots, these LL bean boots. These sell really well. I've sold a couple of pairs of these already, uh, various sizes. These ones I think are men's size seven. I think I'll just have to take another look here, wherever that is. I don't remember, but I'll find it anyway. But yeah, these are the bean boots. Uh, in a smaller size like this, probably only gonna get maybe like, you know, 30-ish, but again, Eight something into 30. I'm perfectly happy with that. And now these are cool. So this is a brand Boggs. And not every Boggs boot does really well, but these are in excellent condition. Like you can tell a little bit of surface dust, but I mean, otherwise these are in great shape. And um, these are in a women's size 11. And this particular style, I think this is called the Taylor Dahlia or something like that. Um, I saw a couple listed for around the $70 mark and a lot that were very similar have sold in that, you know, $40 to $60 range. So low end, I'm thinking 40 on these, high end, maybe even like 70, big size. So I might be able to squeeze out a few extra dollars, but yeah, again, $8 even into that low end, $40. I'm very happy with that. Uh, is a 5X. Okay, the only thing that isn't actually part of the Value Village haul that I'm realizing just in this moment is this pair of Levi's 501s in a 3230. These are ones that I picked up for myself, but I realized after, you know, wearing them a few times, I cannot do the button fly. It is such a pain in the ass. I do not like it whatsoever, so I'm going to sell them. Um, I just, as a guy, I don't understand the appeal of having a button fly. So much easier to have a zipper. If you know, you know. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so this, uh, this here is a Robert Graham button-up shirt. And, you know, it's just kind of a, a plaid plane or whatever. I mean, there is a little bit of detail and texture on there, but, you know, a good collar. So, yeah, before whatever the discount was, it was $12.99. And actually, I think it was 40% off. So, I mean, I think I got it for around like eight or nine dollars or something like that. A lot of Robert Graham shirts like this that are louder and more going on will be like 70, 80 dollars or so. Um, that one probably not so much. But this is another Robert Graham, and this one does have a little bit more uh, happening, you know, a little bit more of a pattern. You know, it's got like the little floral prints on the cuffs there. Same price, same size. Uh, you know what, honestly, if I got like 40 or $50 for each of these, I'd be perfectly happy, but I think I might get just a little bit more on those. Um, okay, and this is a Harley Davidson shirt for Phoenix, Arizona. I'm realizing in this moment, this also was not in Value Village. It was the single item or clothing item that I had picked up at another just very small charity shop that was close by on this same outing. So I stopped in and I found this and this was $6. <clears throat> I'm gonna save that one for the end because 
I don't know. It could be pretty good. We'll find out. Okay, I don't pick up a lot of Tommy Hilfiger because it's very saturated, but this is a new with tags, um, size extra large. They did have it marked at 15, but again, with the 40% discount or whatever it was, well, if it was 40%, that'd be $9. I mean, it's new with tags, size XL, nice color. I think, you know, even if it was like 25 or $30, I'm still happy with that, so I grabbed it. Uh, this is a pair of Callaway golf pants. Oh, pretty, pretty basic, not a whole lot going on, but they're new with tags in a 38-34, so a good size. And these were only $11.99 before the discount, so definitely some good value there. I was I I always am concerned about picking up golf pants and things like that because the value changes, it seems like, every season. But I look these up, I look up this particular thing, and I think, you know, $30 to $40 range, no problem. So uh, Callaway is not something I'm normally looking out for, but the new with tags pants seem to be okay. Uh, this is something, it's not a clothing item, but it was part of the same deal. This is a Molson Canadian, um, like, cooler bag, you know, beer cooler bag or whatever, just soft shell. It's in really nice condition. The inside is super, super clean. Uh, just a small little bit of, you know, sp like dirt spots on the bottom, but I mean, nothing big at all, just barely noticeable. But I s noticed this, it was only $3.99 and it also applied to that discount. So I grabbed it because when I looked it up, I was actually quite surprised. I don't know if it was just sort of limited edition or what, but when I looked it up, it looked like this was selling for around $30. So, I mean, for $3.99 minus 40%, I think that's worth it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This, speaking of Molson Canadian, actually, that's funny. I didn't mean to do those two in a row, but this is a Molson Canadian uh, Christmas sweater. And same deal. When I looked this up, I was like, oh, that's kind of unique. You know, Christmas sweaters are coming up. Season's coming up anyway. Uh, this is a size large. It was only $10.99, and it is from 2005. Really nice condition. I mean, you got to think stuff like this isn't worn a lot. Like, you know, people are only wearing it a couple times a season, maybe. Uh, looks like it was selling in that, like, 40 to 50 range. So, um, yeah, definitely worth a pickup. And here's another item I thought they would have priced higher. They only wanted $9.99 for it. This is a really nice Indianapolis Colts long sleeve uh it's like yeah it's a pullover it's you know fleece lined but it's got that really nice soft smooth uh, exterior almost like you find on the champion reverse weave kind of stuff but um yeah in really nice condition it, it feels like it's pretty much brand new they only wanted 9.99 for it it's a size large it's basic on the back but you know good on the front there I looked it up and I think it's going to easily be like $30 to $40. So for $9.99 minus the 40%, that's definitely worth it. And then uh, another item I thought they had underpriced quite a bit, uh, at just $8.49, was this 2001 Boston Marathon jacket. Like, you know, this is actually like the full jacket, not just a, a little, you know, over layer or long sleeve shirt like you see at a lot of the uh you know for a lot of the marathon for a lot of the different years of the marathon is what i'm trying to say 2001 it's got just a couple small little discoloration spots but otherwise in really nice shape it is only a size medium but i mean being 2001 that is vintage at this point 20 years for clothing the graphic's still really nice it's uh it's going to be warm but also vented in the back so that's really nice like as a runner Trust me, this goes a long way when it's vented in the back. So as you're running along, you can kind of get some airflow and stuff. Uh, I paid $8.49 minus that 40%. And yeah, I mean, it looks like this is probably going to go for $40 to $50. So some surprisingly good finds at Value Village, um, including this, which was $8.99. This is an extra large... And this is not the Kuji, like, you know, the typical striped sort of Bill Cosby looking sweater, but the actual brand Kuji. And this is the Kuji Australia 
uh, what is that? Tri-national tournament, tri-nations tournament of some kind. Maybe football, I don't know, or soccer. Um, but yeah, like it's got the nice Coogee Australia big patch there on the side. It's kind of plain otherwise, but when I was looking up comps on this, it seems like those stripy Coogee sweaters are actually more common. These like plain red ones, Coogee Australia, are actually really uh, hard to come by, it, it seems like, according to the searches I've done. And I honestly don't know what I'm going to list this at yet, but... Um, I mean, I'm seeing comps in the two to $300 range. I don't necessarily believe that that's what I'm gonna get for this, but honestly, even if it was like a hundred bucks, I'd be pumped, but um, I don't know yet. I don't know. But anyway, I saw the logo. I was like, holy crap, that's Coogee. Looked it up real quick, plain red Coogee and uh, Coogee Australia. And yeah, really, really nice, promising looking comps. I gotta do more research, like I said, before I actually list it, but. Either way, it's a win. So there we go. Some really good value from Value Village, which I know I normally complain about. But you give me a 40% off coupon or, or deal, and yeah, I'm going to make the best of it. But they had some pretty good items here today. So that and the footwear, I, there's several hundred dollars worth. And I think in Value Village that day, I only spent like $65 and maybe another 25 on those boots down there. So we're under $100 in on all this stuff and several hundred dollars worth of value. So that is it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate all the support on the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.